The Phantasm Prime, our newest shotgun added alongside Revenant and Tatsu Prime. Is this weapon any good? Is it steel path worthy? Is it better than the base variant? We'll find out all of that in today's video. I am your lovely host, the Gaming Weasel, and let's get into the Phantasm Prime. Now, you can farm the Phantasm Prime parts right on the screen right now. These are the relics. Farm up the relics, farm up the parts, and you have this really cool weapon. The differences between the Phantasm, uh, I guess, base variant and the prime variant are up on the screen right now. Higher critical and uh, higher critical multiplier and chance also. Uh, higher sustained and burst DPS and average uh, tap damage, I guess, is increased if you want to tap with this weapon, which I don't know why you would. Uh, max ammo capacity is increased as well. Uh, it is a master rank 14 weapon with two of the polarities. Now... This weapon does have an alternate fire mode with basically fires cluster bombs. You can charge it or you can, I guess, basically instantaneously click your middle mouse, which is by default. Uh, it does also, I guess, summon seeking little missiles that uh, go and uh, kill their nearest enemy and apply a certain status effect uh, that you have on this weapon. The base damages are going to be radiation and impact, which is not something to write home about. And honestly, the magazine capacity is a little bit low at 11. This would be preferably better at 15. 15, but it is just me. Now, what are the downsides of this weapon and how does this weapon work? The main firing mode is going to be beam mode, so basically just left holding down left click and burning everything in front of you. It has a low critical chance, really low magazine, really low damage, really low multi shot. Uh, and also the crit multiplier is quite low. Now you might be saying, well this is not that good of a weapon gaming weasel. Well, I can change your mind by, of course, revealing to you how this weapon performs inside of Mott inside a steel path. Now, this weapon, the build that I'm using, melts enemies, and I do mean melts enemies. I have applied these mods. I'm using Corrosive, Radiation, Heat, and of course Impact. Now, why did I choose Corrosive instead of Viral? Now, Viral increases damage taken to health, but there's nothing to actually do damage to health on this weapon. I do not have Slash, I have Impact, and, you know, there's nothing that Viral can boost. So, Corrosive in this situation and on this weapon is much, much better. Of course, Vigilante Armaments can be changed out for a Cleanse mod, a Primed one or non-Primed one. Primed ammo shotgun mutation is very, very important. Vigilante uh, armaments is a good, or Vigilante supplies is a good mod to equip, but believe me, Primed shotgun ammo mutation is a much better variant on this weapon. Because you don't get the additive, I guess, uh, additional 5% critical chance will not be noticeable on this weapon with Vigilante supplies. So definitely go for the um, shotgun mutation mods, either Primed or non-Primed. Believe me, they're going to be much, much better. Now, why am I not talking about, I guess, the Cluster Bomb? Because I honestly don't think it's that worth building for it. I honestly think the beam, I guess, weapon, or I guess the main firing mode is the one you should build for, uh, and it will do much, much more damage at a sustained rate. Now, you might be saying, well, Gaming Weasel, you're melting these enemies pretty, pretty easily with this weapon, even though uh, you said it has low and this and this and this and that. Now, uh, the good thing is, because Corrosive reduces enemy armor, Heat does as well, Radiation makes them shoot each other, and Impact does stun them sometimes and does okay-ish damage. Now, sometimes uh, there might be a little bit of a hiccup, and when I say sometimes, I mean playing Steel Path and running into Acolytes. Now, this weapon performs poorly against Acolytes, and believe me, that's such a poorly with like 5 O's. It is really, really bad against Acolytes. Acolytes just decimate this weapon. Uh, honestly, if you're using this weapon uh, as is in Steel Path, it is an amazing weapon. Eximus units, not a problem. Any other enemy, not a problem. Li uh, what's it called? I didn't mean to say Liches, I meant to say the other one, the Acolytes. Yes, Acolytes. Well, this weapon can be thrown in the trash and then thrown into a, I guess, trash compactor and then thrown somewhere where it's not seen because this weapon is completely useless in that aspect. Trash units, great. Acolytes, shit. So, bring yourself a Latum or a, a good melee weapon and then you're pretty much set. Other than that, that is like the only downside. This weapon is really, really good. Uh, I do love using it. Having a damage buffing ability like Roar or Zara's Whisper or even using this with Chroma 
this weapon can decimate enemies, and I do mean decimate enemies, of course, uh, with prime shotgun ammo mutation, you're never gonna run out of ammo. Uh, the secondary fire now in this situation can be useful, because it can do some amounts of damage, but I just prefer, as I said, the main firing mode, just because of the extra DPS and sustained damage that you get from it. But that is basically it. An amazing weapon, but trash against acolytes. So... I guess a double-edged sword, if you want to be good against trash enemies and basically everything else, you're gonna be bad against something else. So, this has been the Phantasma Prime. Is it better than the base variant? Yes. Is it amazing? Yes. Is it good against acolytes? That's a big no. So, this was the Gaming Weasel. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, do leave a like, a comment, a subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you guys on the next one. The Gaming Weasel, over and out.